Control panel is the block that is used to remotely manipulate doors and turrets in SBM's Reloader. It can be placed on any horizontal surface like this and right clicking it won't work. In order to access the GUI, you need to use a screwdriver. So these are some of the doors in front of me that are actually compatible with the control panel. But there are some doors which are not compatible. So how do you test out the things which are compatible and which are not? Well, in order to do that, you need a multi detonator. Right click on a door with the multi detonator in order to add its position. And then with the screwdriver, click on the plus sign, the button. And here, place your multi detonator and then click on the arrow. If you see the coordinates pop up here, that means that the door is actually compatible with the control panel. So if for example, I take a door which is not compatible, let's say we get a missile silo and the silo is actually not compatible with the control panel. So once you place the silo and right click with your detonator and then place the detonator inside the control panel, you will see that coordinates won't pop up. There, no coordinates. That means this door, this silo is not compatible with the control panel and it can be controlled. So now let's learn how to uh, make the most simple control, which is a single button. So right click any door and then add that door in the control panel like this. Now once you have the coordinates added in here, click on continue and then you have these options. Door open, button press and take and finally the initialize. These are the receivable events by the control panel and there is only one sendable event which is the door toggle as we are only gonna toggle the door. So click on the button press event and here there is gonna be an empty grid. In order to bring up the options, press shift plus A and this will bring up the options menu like this. Now it can also be control plus A but yeah, shift plus A works for me. Here select output and broadcast and the broadcast is gonna be the door toggle, that's it. Now we need to initialize this event using the button. So go to initialize and here again shift plus A, a set variable, not broadcast this time, but a set variable and set it to color and the color we are gonna go with is white. Now once you have done these two things, click on done and there will be a button. You can place this button on this grid here anywhere you want to. I'm just gonna place it right here, there. So now this button will appear on the control panel and you can actually click it to open and close the door. So if you click the button, there we go, the door open. And if you click the button again, okay, the door will, the door will close. So that's a simple door opening and closing using the control panel. Now this similar process can be used in order to open multiple doors, not just one. As the multi detonator can add multiple positions in it, you can use it to, uh, or you can use it that a single button will open and close multiple doors at the same time. So we have the two positions here. And if I click on continue here, it's the same process in the button toggle, set it to broadcast. And the initialize event is going to be a variable so that you can set the color of your button. So this time it's gonna be an orange button here. And I'm just gonna place it right here. There we go. And now by clicking this button, we'll open two doors instead of just one. So the opening mechanisms work perfectly and so does the closing. Now these are just two doors. You can add up to like a lot of doors. I haven't tested the limit yet. Now there is this black mesa power switch which can be used instead of using buttons. So first things first, add the position of the power switch and then the door which you want to toggle. So I'm just gonna use the transition seal. And now that I have added both of these positions, click on button and add both of them there now here click on continue and you will see that there is an additional option called the lever toggle so you can still use the button control or the button press but you can also use the lever toggle so once i click in the lever toggle this time set the output that we used to set in the button press 
This time we are gonna set it into button toggle and then once again set and initialize and set any color that you want to now this if you don't do this step i think it will be fine i haven't tested it out yet but as the button is not gonna do anything as you will see in a moment i don't think the second step is necessary but just place this button but even though you press this button nothing is gonna really happen that's cause the door is linked to this black mesa power switch so as soon as we flipped on the power switch the transition seal is gonna open now and if I flip it off the seal should close Now you can try and add the event in both the button and the lever so basically button and lever both of them should work i haven't tested it out yet so yeah if you want to you can try that now a similar thing can be done with the other power switch and we can add multiple doors to it so i'm just gonna add two doors instead of a single one to the second black mesa power switch and do the similar process as we did for the transition seal so we have three positions in the lever toggle set the output to door toggle and set a unique color for the button in case if you want to add it in the future that is another thing that i want to tell you guys is that this control panel can also be used to control the turrets i haven't really messed with it that much right now but yeah it can be done and i will make a video on it sooner or later so after flipping the switch it will open two doors instead of a single one so yeah that was it for using the control panel to control all the doors in hbm's reloaded if you like this video do smash that like button and also support the channel by subscribing to my channel peace out guys stay safe